Nintendo! Oh my god, it's been so long since I've heard that. All right, here we go, baby. The start of Superstar Saga, one of my favorite games of all time. Everyone always says that Bowser's Inside Story is the best of the series, which I highly agree. That game is amazing, but something about Superstar Saga is the most nostalgic for me. It's the one I've played the most by far. It looks smoother here than how I used to look at my DS. Because I, I never owned a Game Boy Advance. I just owned a Nintendo DS, and... This was like the only Game Boy Advance game I owned for some reason. Yeah, this Bowser sprite, it looks off because he's like, he's really tidy in this game. How did Luigi not get stabbed? Yeah, in the overworld, Bowser's tiny button here is huge. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, baby, let's go. We dodged the first attack. There we go. That's a sign of good things to come. Urk. <laughs> Erk Blarg. I don't know if that's what people say when they're in pain in, in real life. Yeah, why is he so tiny in the overworld? He's like as small as Mario and Luigi. Oh uh, yes, that is the plot. Princess Peach has had her voice stolen by Fafal and Kakleta. Yeah, oh my god. It like, the way it controls is... It's so smooth. <laughs> why? Why does it feel smoother on here? Maybe it's because it's been such a long... It's been literal years for me since I've played this game. Even though I said I used to play this game a lot as a kid, I have. But the last time I played this from start to finish, it has been a lot of years at this point. I love how there's like this one specific Luigi sprite that they just... Well, Mario, Luigi, and Bowser sprite that they just never use for the rest of the game. <laughs> or maybe it's just the same sprite, they just like shrunk it down to one-tenth of the size. Alright, what's the funniest photo we could take? Ah, oh, that's not good! The previous two were better, I didn't know. Okay, there. He looks constipated in that image. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do they look like? Ah, see, Mario doesn't look as, as funny as Luigi, dude. <laughs> Level 2 already? What a good start. Alright, y'all know what I'm about to do. No! It's just like Fire Emblem. You level up and you get the minimal amount of stats. Awful game. I still do 2 damage, dude. Alright, surely Luigi won't let me down here, right? Alright, I mean, I'll take it. By the way, you can use this game with the D-pad or the analog stick. But I'm preferring to use the D-pad because that's the more authentic experience, you know? Oh yeah, this battle teaches you about where the enemy will attack. But as a kid, I'm like, why don't you just like press A and B at the same time? There's rarely an attack where like you have to actually time it. You're like right there, like, I just press A and B at the same time if you're unsure. <laughs> See, I mean, I'm even just instinctively dodging with Mario. <laughs> why would I not? It's not like there's a drawback to not doing it. I love how this attack probably does like two damage in battle, but it's enough to destroy an entire airship. Bro, these guys are just fucking dead. Oh my god. <laughs> these guys are just dead, bro. And here we have the first area of this game where you get to walk around and learn a bunch of techniques like from these guys. Ooh, the map. There we go. Isn't this for like fast travel in the later half? Yup. Yeah, this pipe allows you to fast travel throughout the entire map, but you can only access it by finding the green pipes in the first place. This map is huge. There's a lot to explore in this game, which is cool because it's not within the Mushroom Kingdom at all. It's an entirely different area. They're not funny. Get me out of here. It looks like Winnie the Pooh when he's stuck in the hole. Oh, yeah, this part. You have to give up all your coins. Yeah, the currency makes no sense because it's always going to be 10 Bean Bean coins. You gotta find 100 coins for this guy. Luckily, in a fun game like this, a fetch quest isn't that bad. Fetch quests in most RPGs are awful. Because like, it just takes so long for no reason. But in a game like this, I don't mind at all. That's why in a game like Octopath Traveler, even though I love that game, the fetch quest in there was just... They are just awful. But the only reason why I did the quest in that game is because you need to do it for the final boss, if I recall correctly. But in this game, look how fast you get to move, man. Even walking around this game is fun. That's how you know this is a godlike RPG, where walking around is fun. Alright, can we redeem ourselves? Ooh! <laughs> and would you kill him? Because Mario can one-shot this guy. Look how optimal I am, man. I'm so good at this game. Oh, there we go. Luigi level 3. Let's see if Luigi can get at least a 2 here. No! Oh, the speed difference. Let's go. Okay, I only have 54 coins, so I'm already halfway there. What I love about these games is that there's always a red and green duo somewhere. Hi. Hi. There we go. The first two bros moves you get. High jump and spin jump. Here we go, baby. The bros attacks. This is what will defeat Sephiroth if he ever encounters them. Oh, look at that. 10 XP? Now, that was an optimal play. You know what? Let's get some BP up here. Bruh! Hey, you know what? I need some speed on him. 
It's so fast-paced. That's why I love these types of games, man. It's so fast. That's why a lot of, like, modern RPGs and stuff, they, like, go over the top of the animations where, like, a basic attack takes, like, 20 seconds to complete. Yeah, that's cool and all, but that just makes grinding awful. Alrighty, first boss. God, this guy's so ugly, bro. Oh, my God. In here? This is where we go ham with the bros attacks. Yeah, good attack, bro. What's Sephiroth gonna do against these types of attacks, dude? <laughs> Yep, I remember that. God, this looks and feels so good on NSO. I'm so happy, because, like... I remember, like, Paper Mario on N N64. For some reason, every time you open the menu, it just started lagging. I don't know why. It's the only game. I know it's, like, the menu, so it's pretty irrelevant, but still. Just... Why? Bro, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I never messed that up. Why is he actually not dead yet? <laughs> I've thrown a lot of attacks out on him. There you go. Easy peasy. Surely I can get more damage on Mario, right? What's with the ones? What is this, Eevee? That green toe just caused half the game's plot. That is so true. <laughs> well, that's the last we'll see of Bowser for this game. For a while. Oh my god, it's the music I use in my Mario Party videos. When I try to speed up past a boring minigame, like quick saying cash or something. No matter what you hit me with, you can't knock me down, I think. I forgot about this guy. Why is this guy so ugly? Oh my god. Look at this guy. Why is that attack just one-shotting everybody, but it does like two damage in the tutorial battle? You know what's bothering me? Do you see the top left? There's just this red square. What is that doing there? Why don't you get baited, bro? <laughs> oh, lucky. There we go, Luigi catching up now. Come on, let me see that three. Bro! What is this? This is like Fire Emblem. I'm getting RNG screwed on the level ups. What is this hit detection? God, look how fast-paced that is. That's probably why a lot of people, like myself, love these types of games. It's so fast. I would notice this in even the future Mario and Luigi titles where animations and such, it just took so much longer. This game, I just want to jump on this guy. Boom, done, he's dead, right? The other one, like, they would, like, show off, do a bunch of backflips and stuff and take a lot longer. And while I don't really mind, it's just, it really does add up in the end. It makes the game feel, like, 10 hours longer than it should be. In total, you know. And then there's Color Splash, where it takes 9 million years to just do one simple attack. Because you gotta look down on your gamepad, select a card, fill it up with an ambiguous amount of paint to do an ambiguous amount of damage, and then, uh, you killed somebody, and there, you got no XP. Good job, dude. Hate that game. Literally one of the worst video games I've ever played in my life. And nothing will ever change that. I just want to say I was really motivated by a Palutena monster. No fucking way you watched my Palutena... April Fool's joke, where I just spammed Nair for two minutes with garbage color splash music and thought, man, this is inspirational. I'm gonna play this character now. What have I done, bro? Oh my god. I am so sorry for that local now. <laughs> what have I done? Alrighty, this is the second boss, I believe. I wonder where he's hiding. All oh, right, I forgot. You actually have to break the other one because he has nowhere to run then. <laughs> That's actually kind of smart and funny at the same time. Yeah, see, there you go. There you go. Oh my god, I do so much damage. I just killed him like three bros attacks, dude. Bla... 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 Alrighty, All righty, third boss then. <laughs> I thought he was going to shoot above me. I thought he shrinks in size if you jump on him. There you go. <laughs> Look at him, now he's small. He looks like a corgi. What? Already? Usually this takes a long time. <laughs> I tried- I tried freestyling because I- I remember the first one was A and B together, but I just forgot the second part. <laughs> uh, it's an old memory. I'll just stunt because, like, usually the advanced, the advanced moves, they take a long time to get. But hey, we got it at level 6, now level 7. Alright, surely I can get more than one, right? Bro! I saw the 2s and 3s rotating and then 1. This game's awful. <laughs> Why am I playing this game? You know, I need to get a speed up just so I can speed run through the normal enemies. Oh my! Oh, oh look, a unique character that we never ever see again. Why? They're in this house, right? There we go. We got that block for them. Yep, now we have the hammers. We can destroy the statue. 
an animation. Oh, look at the cute little puppy. You know what would be cool in Smash 6? If Mario and Luigi's moveset was up there, where, like, their side specials, they shot out a minecart, and then it's, like, a command grab if they jumped out of it. And it came out in frame 18. And it was, like, a kill move, too. That'd be so cool, right? I think a lot of people would love that for their moveset. All right, here we go, boys. The Bean Bean Kingdom. The first time I ever played this game, I made a vital mistake here. This sign says Bean Bean Castle to the south. I foolishly went to the right somehow. Yeah, I went this direction by mistake. These guys were impossible for me to kill as a kid. You cannot fight them, I remember. They take forever. And then by the time I made it to the right side of that, I found the castle... But it was blocked off because it's the wrong place you're supposed to be in. There you go. This is the correct way to get to the castle. You are the world famous Mario? What? And you are the legendary Luigi? Luigi who, bruh? I have done. <laughs> I love how th this entire interaction between these two characters is is infinitely funnier than the entirety of Color Splash dialogue. Color Splash dialogue be like Morton, more like Leston. Get it? Because he, he lost now and the opposite of more is less. It's so stupid, dude. I love how there's just a trap door specifically there. Ah, yes, the plot thickens. You see, the Lady Lima we encountered on the top side was actually Kakleta. Yeah, repairing the plumbing disabled the security system. What kind of a security system is linked to the plumbing of the building? All right, here we have a boss. I remember as a, as a kid, I struggled with this boss because I was wondering why I was only doing one damage. Oh my goodness. I was stubborn. I was not attacking the arms. Really? That's more than 20 life. Oh my god, so much faster. I'm so bad. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah, I just want to get it right. Oh, I never got Mario right, god damn it. But he was dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, come on, man! Okay, gotta remember, this one's a lot faster. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's so fast. It should be, yeah, right? I mean... There we go. Oh my god. I can just finish these guys off. And with that, we have defeated Queen Bean. There we go. 174, my goodness. Level 9. Hey, you know what? I haven't done HP in so long that... Oh, look at those bonuses. Look how optimal this is. Oh, look at that. Three easy three HP. As for Luigi, though, I want to do defense. Yeah, look at look at the value you get for defense. Oh, come on! Why is he just poking at her? All right. The plot now is that we gotta we gotta get Cola to uh, wake her up, pretty much. Oh yeah, this part. It's like in Link to the Past. We gotta like go through this maze to get to the first Dark World dungeon, and midway through, a monkey helps you. Yeah, there we go. I was trying to figure out when it changes. And here we have a brand new character too. Popple is his name. And Rookie. Unfortunately, Bowser lost his memory. That's why he's acting like this. Oh, I'm pretty sure if you kill Rookie first, he just runs away. So you know what? I'm gonna be optimal and kill him first. Really? He died in three hits? This should be like the sixth time I've done this in total. Oh, yeah. <laughs> three bros attacks for each. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Four? Oh, three. <laughs> Have I been saved, rescued, moi? <laughs> As someone who lives in Canada, I used to study French in school, and the last time I studied French in school was grade nine. Only because it was mandatory, and I hated it. Now I wait for that time where they end, where they show off Canadian characters, where they just end every sentence in A. You'd be like, you need to get to the star, eh? I never knew you could do this. <laughs> Wait, does it actually damage him? Oh, I didn't know it damages him. That's why he, he looks that way in the overworld. Oh, I never knew it actually did damage. Well, I mean, it makes sense that it does damage. Ah, there we go. The fast-paced version. This is the music I use in my Mario Party videos when I skip through, like, quicksand cache. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's so ugly, man. All right, this is kind of a mini boss, pretty much. Yeah, this is the the Wiggler returns and bounces inside the story. It's the same stuff. You have to hit the red to calm him down. Yeah, that makes sense. Use violence to calm the violence. And I hate it here. <laughs> One hit? Am I that strong already? <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what? 
I know this is an easy boss, but still, I didn't expect to win in one shot like that. Hey, yeah, you don't want more damage. Oh! <laughs> Man, just everything about this game is so good. The way it looks, the way it plays out, the music, just everything. Why it's so goddamn good this game <laughs> it's just so good man but it just makes me happy that this game is here now because it's just, it just it's just more of a reminder you know that hey they actually remember it's kind of like banjo kazooie right the bigger reason why banjo was such a big deal in ultimate is just more the fact that he you know he's remembered he's not forgotten right i don't know why this tree looks like a chancy to me anyone else see that that might just be me what do idiots drink so duh what do sodas call their dads Huh. A hippie's favorite soda, granola cola. This guy stinks! Bon appetit. So yeah, one of the boss fights is a stupid soda monster. There we go, we got rid of the shields, and now he's wide open. Oh, look at that damage output. You love to see it. Bro, that was so instantaneous, man. I think two more bros attacks and he's dead, actually. Is he? This might finish him off, actually. Not quite. Oh, now he's small. I am small. And there it is. There we go. Smooth sailing. And another level. How much value do I get? Oh, this is such a good value. Come on. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Big four! <laughs> get his speed up, man. He needs more speed. Oh, let's go! <laughs> so now Mario fell into the barrel of soda. And as Luigi, we gotta go get to him now. Bruh. <laughs> There's so much like silly stuff like this. And there we go. Inside the barrel and we made it back out of the woods. That's terrible, and sort of disgusting. <laughs> These guys are so stupid, dude. Those are the type of guys that would complain about Kazuya and Ultimate. Oh, that's disgusting! I sound like that fish, that skeleton fish from Spongebob with the, with the number one hat. That's disgusting. Ugh, oh, why is it so pink or purple this green? No, it's like magenta. But there, we have healed the queen now. Oh, I would kick West the Beanstar and Princess Peach's voice in the first place. Yes, that is the plot of the story. Oh yeah, she goes into detail here. The Beanstar holds great power, and the only way to awaken it is for a great voice, a beautiful voice. That's why Kakleta stole Peach's voice, because Kakleta's voice is ugly and horrendous. Southeast of this castle is Woohoo University. Hoo University, oh my god. Yeah, it took me a while as a kid to figure out like the places of all, if this entire world is all joke based. Like there's Teehee Valley, Woohoo University, the Chuckle Woods. Alrighty, now we know what to do. We have to go after Kakleta. But first, I have nowhere near enough beans for all this, so yeah, I can't even do this right now. But yeah, this is pretty much a dungeon for an RPG. Bruh, he turned into a clown emoji. Really? A laser snippet. Get out of here. Yeah, once we complete this dungeon, we get to fight against Kakleta. What is that hit detection, dude? Okay, there you go. Oh my god, I don't know why I was messing this up. I'm still messing it up. I hate myself. I see some threes. Come on. You know what? A two we take. A two we always take. Oh, come on. Let me get those fours. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, dude. <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm so stupid. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta get hit by at least one of them just to never get hit by them in the future, I feel. Oh, yeah, it's a lot harder to see in this because there's no, like, cross symbol, but yeah, the holes in there indicate the bean location. Oh, look how efficient that was. Oh my god, that's the play. <laughs> that was so efficient. Ah, oh, it's just two. It's not three. I mean, in technically in Dr. Mario, it's four, but hey, it makes sense here. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm just kind of wandering aimlessly, just fighting everybody, but I don't even mind, dude. This is so much fun. But it's like I said, this game is so fun that even just walking around is fun. That's how good of an RPG this is. <laughs> Why does it slide across the ground like that? You know how, you know how Melee Bowser slides across the ground? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, I see. You have to turn it into this. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, we got the beam of light going now. There we go. Yeah, that's the whole gimmick of this entire dungeon is, um, 
You gotta manipulate these rays of light to open doors and stuff. Oh yeah, they don't die if there's multiple, but if they're all the same color, like here, there we go. <laughs> That's so clever. I have an idea, actually. The hammer is technically weaker sometimes. There we go. Oh my god, look at this value. Oh, look at the value. Let's go. Dude, imagine this being a 2v2 uh, minigame for Mario Party. A coin minigame. No! What? I totally hit that, dude. I remember there being an exploit. Yeah. Yeah, during the beginning when it's still at slow speed, you can keep hitting it with the same bro over and over again. Ooh, lucky. Ooh, another lucky. Three luckies? Yo, what? <laughs> Three luckies. Oh, nice. We got a barrel. Oh, wait. Life hack. Oh, there we go. Mar Superstar Saga life hacks. Spinning uphill makes you go faster. All right. They should move the crane, I believe. I think you need two barrels. There we go. We needed two barrels. All right. We got to go in this one. Then. Now it should work. <laughs> there we go. Wait. Oh, crap. I really don't want to. Yeah, this is the kind of part where you really don't want to fight anyone on your own. I forgot what happens if you get hit by this, but I really don't want to find out. I'm not sure that's how physics works, but okay. <laughs> it's just the fact that it all works out perfectly. It's so funny, dude. Oh, I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> I just jumped there, because why not? I, just, I don't know why Bar is the only one who can intake water like this. But here we go. Now we got another puzzle, which involves spitting water onto these electric mice. There we go. Alrighty, that's the main section. I think we're pretty much done this now. I think I have to fight her right now, so you know what? Let me just heal up real quick on everything. Yeah, the Beanstar absolutely hated that voice. Oh yeah. <laughs> just bonks him, bro. I'm going to knock you all the way back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Alright, final boss time. Let's go, guys. Isn't it based in the text bubble? You know how, like, the bottom one has the arrow? I'm pretty sure that's how that's supposed to be. Oh, clearly not. Wait, this attack is exactly like in Tasma, I just realized. Really? They were both fake? Like the two I had to hit? Uh, my mistake. This is one of those few attacks where you actually have to alternate, not just pressing at the same time. Okay, there we go. It's this part where she tra kind of transforms. I think two more attacks and she's dead? Or just one more. Wow, damage just run, let's go. And there we go, guys, we beat the game, we beat her. <laughs> That's the final boss, all right, see you guys. Oh, baby, three, let's go. You know what, more damage. Oh, come on. Really, double level? <laughs> That's rare. You know what, let's redeem ourselves then. Okay, you know what? A Tui take. I'm sucking up your energy with this head here. If he can suck up people's energies, why doesn't he just do that from the beginning? There we go. That's one. And now this is two. Ooh, lucky. Well, we haven't done HP in a while. Oh, look at this value. Look at this value. Oh, this should be it. Oh, no, I killed him, man. No. <laughs> I did too much damage. Oh, yeah, I could always just fail the action command. Like this. Oh, look at how efficient that is. Succeeding by being bad. Let's go. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. There we go. The return of these two. Well, boo. Boo to you, I say. Why does this always happen? This isn't funny, see? I love how they do that. All right. Second battle between these two. Fine, I countered it, man. Oh, I forgot he breathed fire this time. Should be dead, actually. There we go. Yeah, he's really easy to kill. <laughs> I think in this battle, actually, if those two live long enough, they have their own bros attack. It's like a giant shockwave. And he says, like, we learned it from you. I've only ever seen it once in game because I always just kill Popple immediately. Damn, that is a lot still. Oh my god. 65? Hold on. Yeah, this only does 52. There we go. Smooth sailing. You know what? I always say, a Tui Tay. Let's give him some more damage, too. Ah, oh, come on! Ho, ho, ho. I love how they don't even destroy the robot. They, they're trying to, like, weigh it down. You see, Batman would be smart enough to destroy the robot. Because there's that one scene in the cartoon series where both Batman, Lois Lane, and Superman were trapped inside a room. The kryptonite was weakening Superman. And Batman 
decide to destroy the kryptonite because Superman can recover and bust all three of them out of there. Yeah, at this point, I think we're actually only one third done the game at this point. Yeah, so as we saw, the Bean Star has split into four different pieces, and now we're stuck on the beach, it looks like. But we do get to learn some pretty cool techniques here. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. <laughs> I'll try to jump on him. Yeah, this OST is such a bop, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish I could touch a ball of electricity in real life and be granted electric powers like this. He became static shock now. Even the concept of these two, like, higher beings teaching you such techniques. It's so cool, man. It's so cool. Okay, we got thunder for Luigi. Now we gotta get fire for Mario. Yeah, once we get the bros attacks for the elemental attacks, then we can go back to previous worlds and get the secrets. Like those boo statues and those stupid, ugly Koopas, dude. Look how optimal I am. <laughs> Come on, man! It's so weird how you still need to jump. You need to jump underwater to get to higher places. That makes no sense. Oh my god, you have to like walk very slowly. You know what this is like? This is like the one episode in Spongebob, the band geeks, where you Plankton's like walking all the way back and forth <laughs> to blow on every single note of the harmonica. <laughs> you know how hard this is in real life? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I think that pipe leads us to escape back to Bean Bean Kingdom, but now we get to see what happens to Bowser and now Cacleta. So is Cacleta just dead at this point? Do we actually just kill her during our battle? Because now she's just a ghost. Or a spirit, rather. Alright, seems we gotta go to the Bean Bean Airport first. Oh my god, this guy's literally shitting enemies, bro. Go away. Please go away. Go oh, I, I just want that bean. Please give me the bean. Oh my... Oh yeah, I was supposed to technically do this, yeah. <laughs> I completely forgot that this is how you're supposed to upgrade your hammers. I thought you had to keep going back to the valley at their house, but yeah, this works for me. We got super hammers now. Yeah, if I do this correctly, I get swing bros. Yeah, it, it's just luck, I'm pretty sure though, right? Ah, I, I profited. Abuse safe states? Nah, what am I, bad at the game? Nah. Safe states are for nerds. There we go. Easy peasy. That's why they call me the king, baby. We're on a plant to dug their roots into this runaway. Yeah, it seems that these plants are in the way. What is Luigi doing, my guy? What are you doing, my guy? Where do you get the tea from? <laughs> this game, bro. Wait, I'm pretty sure one of them heals. Yeah. Fire heals a plant. But electricity is super effective. This is backwards of Pokemon, where grass types are weak against fire, but resist electricity. Oh, what? I never knew about this. Oh, oh, I never knew you could do that, what? <laughs> I always just fought them. You yeah, learn something new every day, I suppose. Yeah, I'm still baffled that as a YouTuber, this is still my first playthrough I'm still uploading. <laughs> my plan was to play the Mario Party 3 single player mode on NSL when it came out, and then just use that as my first playthrough, but... <laughs> it's been taking a while for Mario Party 3 to get released, so... And when I saw this, I figured, you know what? How about my first playthrough be a 20-year-old Mario & Luigi game <laughs> on the Game Boy Advance? But yeah, once Mario Party 3 drops, I plan to do a lot with that game. Alright, I remember this boss being really, really fast. Bro, it looks like Kid Boo about to destroy the planet, man. I, there's no indication, I just eyeballed it. <laughs> Guessed. Yeah, I remember killing her in like two fucking attacks back in the day. I forgot what I did, but... Clearly, it wasn't what I'm doing right now. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it took so much longer than it should have. Let me see that value. Come on, man! Oh, dude, I saw that five and I was about to get excited. <laughs> sure, we take a three, though. Oh, yeah, they thought her voice was going to explode. I'm pretty sure here is where they reveal everything. Yeah, at the beginning where we see Cacleta steal Peach's voice, that was actually not Peach who they stole. Birdo. No wonder the Bean Bean star was so agitated. He had to listen to Birdo's ugly voice. If Vernus is watching, this is the part where he time stamp and start popping up because he has to see fucking Birdo, bro. <laughs> The leader of the bird nation. Oh god, I remember this far. You have to escort her. And she just goes up on her own, if I recall. Yeah, like this. Why does this happen? Yeah, every time you go up, she goes up screen, you have to go after her like that. 
Oh, come on, man. Really? That counts? Fine, fine. I'll use the hammer. Wait. Wait, no. She's in front of me. She's in front of me. Okay. <laughs> okay, I probably didn't need to kill this guy, but better safe than sorry. Really? It's teasing me with the twos and the threes constantly. And then the random one appears. What is this? The Vern virus from that one Mario Party video? <laughs> the Vern virus is real. <laughs> okay, at least we got a two here. What do you mean? Oh my god, really? Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. I forgot you can talk to her. <laughs> I forgot you could talk to her. Okay. <laughs> that makes that slightly less bad, I suppose. What even is this thing? <laughs> it looks like a Pianta from Sunshine. Bruh, what is this? Malphite from League of Legends? Really? Two hits? Why does he give me a thousand XP? <laughs> what? Am I really just that ahead in damage? I mean, you know what? Let's keep going then. Give me that five. Okay, you know what? A two we take, as always. A two for both, we take those. Dude, I was comparing him to Malphite in League of Legends. They ain't even comparable. Malphite is way tankier than that. So like, what if this elevator just doesn't work? How do the people leave and exit? <laughs> I mean, leave and enter. Oh my god, there he is, everybody. It's Gino. <laughs> the last time he ever appeared. When I was younger, I never played Super Mario RPG. So when I saw him, I'm like, he looks familiar. And then I was like, oh, I know this guy. He's from all those Newgrounds animations I used to see. <laughs> I'm not even joking. There was so many Newgrounds animations with him that that's how that's how I associate him with. Oh, wait, you were supposed to do this. I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, this is the part where Mario gets sick. Once of this town lies a place known as Gafawa Ruins. It is said that deep within Gafawa Ruins, there grows crabby grass, an antidote to this fever. <laughs> Why is there a drawing of this? You know they say ignorance is bliss? If this toad never mentioned that, then Luigi would have been perfectly fine. Yeah, this part you can't run properly or you can't even jump. He's so scared you can't even jump, so... There's only one place you can go to from here. You shall become Mario. Yes, embrace the belief. With this incredible jump, you will face on the onslaught of evil. Now come this way. <laughs> you know what? Imagine he looks down and he just becomes frightened again because... He looked down on his own clothes. You're telling me they couldn't install a ramp here? Excuse me, Bowser? Oh, I think you're sorely mistaken. I'm... Boletta, exactly. Bowser and Cacletta have fused together now. Well, that aside, we managed to get the grass back to Mario, and now he's fully healed. A message has arrived. <laughs> I love how they use a Game Boy Advance. If you want your princess returned, you must get the four pieces back, of course. This game's soundtrack actually goes hard? It does. This is one of those games where the music is what I like to call YouTube music. Where it's in the background of every YouTuber. Okay, maybe not every YouTuber, but guaranteed you'll encounter a YouTuber who uses this kind of song as the background for anything. You know, games like Mario and Luigi, Paper Mario, Mario Party, Mario Galaxy, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine. Those kinds of games I like to call YouTube music because every YouTuber has used, those, has used that kind of music in the background. And just like that, the plot's been extended because of these guys. Yeah, this is the part. Yeah, this mini game. Yeah, the skeleton Donkey Kong. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Sorry, not Donkey Kong. Bink. Dude, mini games like this? I, I, I miss this kind of stuff. Like, I remember New Super Mario Bros. DS and Mario 64 DS. They would always have these bunch of mini games you could play. Like the Wanted, the, the Sorting, the Pink and Black Ball Bombs. And then Mario Brothers Wii and Mario Brothers U, and then now Mario Brothers U Deluxe in the Switch. It doesn't have any of that, I feel. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I miss this kind of stuff. He drank so much cola, he got stuck in a wall. Just like Winnie the Pooh, bro. Yeah, don't worry, bloat. I'll set you free. The fact that he got unaffected by that entirely is insane. This dude literally held up an entire boat. Oh! My god, and... <laughs> and we crashed. Oh my god, and it's floating away. Yeah, the swimming is weird. It's like Kirby games where 
You can only float a certain height with respect to where you jumped off in the first place. Oh, finally I got that one. I'm pretty sure this one's weaker than the actual... The advance is weaker for that one, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Yeah, see, it's weaker. Why? <laughs> I don't get it, unless I'm missing something. Oh, go away. Please go away. Bloopers are the, one of the most annoying Mario enemies ever. In any Mario game ever. Why is this a thing? Why do you have to jump underwater? How does it make any sense? Well, good thing about the power of video editing, I can delete all this part because this part is so slow and bad. This is like the one bad part about this game. <laughs> all right, now we're back on the beach now. Oh God, look at this guy, man. He's just so ugly. Yeah, you have to do this. That's a lot of money though. Yeah, this is the part where you learn the bros, uh, the bros attacks for the elemental attacks. Yes, yeah, so another red and green duel who can teach you an attack. Oh, finally. We can finally knock down this ugly fuck over here. Yes. Yeah, that's for blocking my path earlier. Oh, there we go. Finally, we can get rid of them. Yeah, there we go. Now we can go back to the previous areas and unlock the hidden stuff we can get from this. Hey, buddy. Move. Yeah, get out of here. He's like Kenzie Koopa. Kenzie Koopa at least fights you. This guy, sole purpose is to be an annoying fuck in your way. <laughs> While also being ugly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is probably the worst part of the entire game. Because this part is just so drawn out that... <laughs> uh, and it's so slow paced. Uh, I feel like every RPG kind of has this kind of moment. Where it's like, you gotta get something. But getting to that something just takes really long for no reason. And this is part of that. Have you come to help me decorate too? No, we have not. After all you put me through to get here. Are we lucky or what? How- What? Whoa! Whoa! Calm down, ladies! Whoa! The decorating stopped and it's all because of you. If you want to cause trouble, then you're Then you're stupid. Okay. Now, if I recall correctly, one of the claws is weak to fire and thunder. Okay. I completely forgot what move this was. I was distracted by the crab, that's why. Pretty sure you're dead off this. Not quite, huh? He's got a lot of life, I'll give him that. He should be dead. Oh, finally, bro, I was waiting for this. This is the most broken move in the game because it goes on for infinity. The chopper brother still does, but... Okay, there we go. <laughs> we extended his death. He actually doesn't even get that much XP. This guy sucks. Yeah, I went through an awful underwater experience just to get that bean star, man. Can you give it to me? All right, finally, we got one of the four bean star pieces. Well, 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 we meet again, don't we? Yeah, unfortunately for you, you can finally get out of my way. I don't recall spending this much money to enter all these things, but sure. Yeah, a lot of these mini games are really fun. <laughs> it's one of those you can just spend a full hour just doing this, unironically. Yeah, I believe here we fight Popple for the for one of the pieces. This is the easiest piece to get, I believe. Wait, how do you even get in here? Oh, he probably snuck his way in. Nope. Nope. Damn, he got wrecked. <laughs> Ding up on me. Don't think you can beat me just because I'm alone. I mean, he's really weak by himself. Alright, my brand new move. I'm so bad. Okay, let me redeem myself over here because... Okay, why am I failing this? Yeah, this guy like just never attacks you. Two hours later. <laughs> I gotta be excessive, you know? Let me see something juicy. Oh my god! Back to back fives, dude. <laughs> what a way to conclude getting the second bean star piece. Oh god, just look at this guy, man. He's so ugly. So now the next star to go is for down right. There should be that statue. Yeah, there we go. And now that we have this ability, we can go down here now. Alrighty, onwards to the third star. Alright, yeah, I remember doing this, trying to do like every single combination. <laughs> And like, just being super invested in this kind of thing. As for design, anything will do, just give me red. Oh, I'm bad. 
Okay. So anything will do as long as it's red. So you know what? I'll give you red checkers. Something in yellow and a checker pattern. Okay. That's how you do it. Alrighty. We're halfway done. Purple with polka dot. Now how- what if someone doesn't know that blue and red make purple? <laughs> Good enough, we'll take it. Brown, but with a star. To make a star pattern, just hit two or more of the design bombs at the same time. Okay, I was wondering how you make a star. Brown has to be every single color, I think. Oh, baby! First try. I just gotta hit at least two here now. There we go, first try. Just like that, we got the third bean star piece. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's 28 combinations. I mean, hey, why not? I'm already here. Eventually. Oh, you get gear. Not a fan of the huge defense drop. The HP is nice, but oh my god. Well, at least we got a lot of beans. Moving on. Yo, go away, bro. You want to die in one turn? Boom. Boom. Wow, that dam <laughs> the damage difference is insane. Well, now we're done that. There's only one more now. God, just look at him, man. He's so ugly. Well, at least now we can just... Get him out of our way! If you hit the two Simu blocks up ahead simultaneously, your luck will improve. Oh. I remember this. It's a cool little puzzle. I just realized, a lot of the other Mario and Luigi games, I don't think they really do this. Where you have to manipulate the bros to... on two different platforms. It's the mole! The big mole! <laughs> He's got sunglasses and a nice tie. You can't just waltz up and start talking to my master. Oh my god. He looks like that jackass teacher from Yu Yu Hakusho. Mr. Takashi, I think that was his name. You weasels, look at you. Have you looked in a mirror, buddy? Look at you, bro. This guy looks like one of those kids in the playground who makes up his own game on the playground. And when he starts losing, he just like keeps altering the rules to only benefit him. And then he still loses. And then he's like, I don't want to play anymore. I forgot about this. He does that every time. Silence, you twit. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. No, no, you mustn't, Master. You mustn't. <laughs> the fact that he, like, goes into that form every single time to hit him. <laughs> He's just like, oh, no. Anyways, I will trade you for the seven brilliant colors of the neon eggs. Yep, we gotta find specific things to uh, replace. Wait, impossible, master. Washed up middle-aged men such as these could never get the neon eggs. <laughs> There's a bunch of markers on the map now. You gotta go there and find the general location of where the fruits are. Oh my god, yo, Vernius is in this game? The Vern Nation? So how this works is that there's markers on the map, and you have to go to those locations to find the fruit. And usually the fruit is hidden in patches of flowers like this. There we go. Oh my god, bro. Get off my screen already. Yeah, there we go. What is this plant? Why does he look like this? He looks so weird. Piranha B. It's the strangest looking piranha plant. I think electricity hurts him. Yeah, it's critical. Oh yeah, that's Prince Beasley. <laughs> I forgot. You want to know why he looks off to me? It's because he looks rather humanoid as a piranha plant. Like, imagine a shirtless dude with like only boxer shorts on. That's what it looks like. There we go. Easy peasy. Wow, that's a lot of XP. <laughs> He's tiny so the screen can't flash white anymore. Imagine this doesn't work and he just I just like kill him. Yeah, it's been in his stomach though, but hey, we got the fruit though. Here's a nice suspicious location. Wait, what? Hmm? What? Bro! It was on like the slight left side. Well, now we know for next time, I suppose. Okay, so now we know it's like left side or right side, right? So. Left side, gotcha. There we go. Alright, we got all seven. I think that's literally it for this. Like, that's it. <laughs> Just find the seven fruits and then you're done. Time to make the Yoshi's poop now. Yeah, eat this fruit that was once in a piranha plant's stomach. At first it tastes like beans, but then the flavor of fruit oozes out. Bean fruit is the best. That sounds like shit. Literally. Thanks to you too, my theater is not complete. Marvelous. And with that done, we got the final bean star piece. I shudder to think. Ah, the Game Boy Advance is now orange for some reason. You fools make fine scavengers. Now I want red and green to bring that bean star to me. Ooh, a fake bean star. Of course. Features extra dress. I love how this will come clutch in the future. Later on. Ah, yes, because I won the bet, I got 99 trillion coins now. Which comes down to 99 bean bean coins. What kind of trash conversion is that, bro? Can you go away? You got, like, nothing better to do with your time? Clearly not. Now is the time we can finally upgrade our hammers to the max. Perfect. Ultra hammers now. Now we can break any rock. Like this one. 
Please go away. That guy is like my number one hater, dude. He's the guy who subs to my channel so he can get a notification just to dislike the video. He's that type of hater. Maybe you can find something to jam into that hole. Yeah, how about this? <laughs> how does this make any sense? This is one of the like the strangest ideas in this game. And yet it just works. It, it just does. Pretty sure there's a surfing minigame you can do in this game, but I just don't remember what it is. 49? That's terrible, though. See if you can do it in 45 seconds. I got one bean. You know what? Okay, you know what? I know what to do now, so... I know what to do now, so... Really? Tell me this counts, right? Like, I got 40. What? Wait, how are you actually supposed to get 38? One hour later. What the fuck? He... Oh my god. Two hours later. <laughs> Three hours later. Come on, like, this is 30... Or is that it? Does that count? Oh, clearly that was it. Okay, no, that counts. I didn't know decibels didn't count. I'm a buddy of the cousin of the descendants of the spirit who once guarded this place. That's oddly specific. Getting through here won't be as near as easy as what you're used to. No way. Well, it's probably gonna be easy in that stupid surfing minigame I just did. That's a lot of damage. Oh, baby! Swing Bros advance. Perfect. Now we can farm items. Are they completely resistant to physical attacks? I'm pretty sure this heals them. Let me just see. Oh. Wait, let me see, actually. Yeah. Elemental attacks are the only way to hurt them. Oh, I missed it. I forgot the timing. Hey, an Ultra Shroom? That's so busted, dude. <laughs> For free? Wait a minute. Optimal? Optimal? Optimal. Oh, come on. One damage. Get out of here. Hey, you know what? I need Mario's speed to go up. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> Luigi's damage needs to catch up, too. Five? Oh, three. Three you always take. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Thunder advance. That's one of my favorite moves in the entire game. Now we just need fire advance. God, this move takes so long to do. That's why I want the advanced version. Really? Oh my god. I'm trying to do it from memory, that's why. Are you seriously telling me I have to do this for like every little bit? You're ch Oh my god, really? Yeah, at least you only have to do it once, thank god, but still. <laughs> That's a little silly. There we go, the Shoryuken! There we go. That's one of my favorite ones. That probably is my favorite one on top of that. Or more like Kazuya's Dragon Uppercut. <laughs> Kazuya, the electricity effect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, it can't be as bad as the underwater shenanigans we had to do last time. Why is there even a soup here? Like, <laughs> what is this place? Yeah, this, this is literally, what was he cooking? Is that my thumbnail? Just what was he cooking? Here, I'll get Mario and Luigi ready for the thumbnail then. Is that a good angle? Okay, what about from the side? Ah, the interface is in the way. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, for the YouTube video. <laughs> there, take a screenshot of this and then go, what was he cooking? That makes so much sense. This is exactly like Leaf Leaf in Mario Party. Except this one's harder. <laughs> I don't know why, it just is. This is where the real challenge starts. Look, you probably should just give up and go home. Don't tell me what to do. Can I at least get this right consistently? There we go, sure you can. Or Dragon Uppercut, it's more appropriate. Level 28, please, something big. <laughs> oh yeah, this part you gotta separate. Yeah, you really don't want to fight anybody. Hi, how are you? That is so much money you lose, wow. Okay, I gotta go back as Luigi. Still separate is the thing. I think we join here though. 30 points in 25 seconds or less, I'll open this door for you. Cool. I'm bad. Perfect, easy peasy. Yeah, this part is like a long time that you're separated. You really don't want to fight by yourself. I think Luigi can jump under here is a thing. Yeah, so that's the case then. Yeah, like that. Here is good, I think. 
Oh, it moves. Yeah, you, you have to react to it. Yeah, I think this is the part where we get to reunite. Spinning upstairs makes you move faster. Good game design. Oh, we're almost there with Fire Bros Advance. I've been doing it so much in this dungeon that I should be able to get it within like three more, I think. Perfect. Perfect. Easy peasy. <laughs> That's so gonna beat me. Oh my god. <laughs> the most stubborn people I know. No girls would ever like you. What? <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Where'd this come from? We're almost there, please. Oh, baby! Finally! We completed Mario's advanced set. Oh my god. It's about time. Hey, okay, you know what? Let me just try it then. You'll be my guinea pig for this. What? There we go. At least you can, like, redeem it midway. Oh, there we go. That's so much cooler. <laughs> Get it? Because it looks like cooler supernova from DBZ. I'll stop. You're the first people ever to climb all the way up here. Cool. Let me reward you with a little something, okay? No. <laughs> no, get away from me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all that changes is the hair color. Now take good care of our honorable guests. Yeah, no, get away from me. Wait, bruh. <laughs> that poisons you? Alright, let's test out my new move then. Bruh. It's gonna be a small blast now, unfortunately. That's still a lot of damage. Wait, let me actually test the waters. I knew it. I should do that. Good thing I didn't do the bros version. All right, here we go, baby. Oh, two, bro, three attacks. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this one. You are so uncool. Oh, never mind. Oh, that was really easy. What? Yeah, let's get some more speed, though. That two-way take at this point. Yeah, Luigi's speed is doomed at this point, so let's just make him tanky for the sake of being tanky. Why not? Give him some good value here. Oh, baby, a four. <laughs> Pink rats come at last. You little men. Wow. Speak for yourself, buddy. All right, so we gotta go deliver this to him now. Give him the fake one. I am laughing at you. I can see through your pathetic designs, you ugly thing. He's calling us ugly? Look at you, bro. At least he didn't take our clothes or our money. You idiots of stupidity. That's a new one. I love how there's a designated room to press that button. Why did they bring the real one if they were planning to trick them with the fake one? You know, that is a very, very good question. Ooh, I have to laugh. We would never release Peach's scheming liars like you two. You reap the beans you so fools that meet your doom. Something's wrong here. There's two of them! Oh my god, it's like a long last one of them's the imposter! Forget this cheap knockoff. I'm taking the real Princess Peach. This is the stupidest villain I have ever seen. Why not just take both of them? Throughout this whole game, Cacletta's a fucking moron. <laughs> just take both of them. It's like ordering a cheeseburger from McDonald's. There's no ketchup on the burger. So instead of just adding it for yourself, you just throw away the entire burger and buy a new one. Like, just what is the point of that? I mean, this does prove that Luigi's a really good actor because he's clearly still fooling the both of them. Behind you, a humongous cockroach. You know what's funny? He's more afraid of a cockroach than these two. Fire at will. <laughs> How did you trick us? This is one of the stupidest villains ever in a video game, I swear. They're actually idiots, bro. And why is a wooden box able to stop? Can't Boletta breathe fire? Uh, again, they're stupid, bro. A wooden box is stopping them? And Fawful can literally just fly over it. They're actually idiots, dude. Kind of a bad security system where if you just plug in, you know, the wires and charge them, it disappears. You'd think it'd be the other way around. He doesn't even say Luigi. He says Mario, bro. Yeah, so Luigi's landing got scuffed because of that one bird. So we gotta go get to him now. Yeah, don't mind him, like, getting sucked into quicksand. Why is there a switch there? What was that earthquake? Why is he even down here? Why is the Burn Nation here? <laughs> I bet Burn is just popping off if he's watching this video. Stop freaking me out. I don't care what kind of power has any kind of to do. What did she do for him to hire her? Feels like she's like what he's not looking for at all. Oh, I mean, Bowser makes sense because Bowser's big and strong. All right, time for my new technique here. Nice. Let me try that again. Dragon uppercut, baby. One more attack and he should be dead. Yep. <laughs> he's really easy to kill. Why even fight Birdo? It's just, it's just so random. I wonder if Nick is watching this video. He's like popping off every time I land an attack. He's like, he's like cheering for me. Like, yeah, baby. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right here. Mm, there we go. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> there we go. 1400? That's so much. And five syrup. Okay, this one's worth it then. Yeah, I'm prepping so I can go first in the final boss. <laughs> it's very important that Mario goes first. 
two, fine. A two we take. Look at you, pathetic. You're useless, see? Yeah, not gonna feel bad for her. And we never see him until Dream Team now. Do I really have to see you again, bro? This is bullet is doing. We're utterly defenseless against an attack from this guy. I forgot how we get up there, though, is the thing. Pretty sure we fly up there, but I forgot how. Yeah, it's the pterodactyl. Yeah, <laughs> I completely forgot about him. Yeah, at this point, I collected so many beans, I'm pretty sure I can do it all here now. Yeah, hold up. Let him blend. <laughs> We're not cooking. We're blending. Yeah, so you can gaze upon this picture and think of me. I think it's... <laughs> This dude's a hater, bro. I mean, the last time I did this, I just broke the middle one, and... You know what? Maybe it's the middle one again. Oh! Is it a refund? Okay, bro, is it gonna be like last time I just hit the middle twice, and it's just the best case scenario both times? What? Bro! <laughs> it's the same- literally the exact same scenario. Man, this game is so easy. Flashback. End of flashback. Grab onto me. We're going to Bowser's castle. Are you ready? Let's do it. Why are there beans here when I'm like done the game, dude? The Mario Bros who I hate are coming this way. You just gotta add the, the second half, don't you? The one time where like seeing these guys isn't actually like that bad. Because you know, oh my god, really? Luigi, why'd have to be so slow? Bro, I was about to say the Koopalings being here isn't that bad because usually the Koopalings are added to a Mario game but they can't think of anything, any anyone unique, so. They just kind of shove them in because they can't think of anyone. Is this a Hammer Brother or... They are called Hammer Bros. They look really big in this game. <laughs> really big and jacked. Fantastic. Oh my god, I forgot if you fall off, you have to fight a bunch of boos. Get away from me! So yeah, you gotta fight every single one of the Koopalings. And they each have some sort of little mini game you gotta do to get to them in the first place. I think this particular one, it's like Dizzy Dancing from Mario Party 2. Yeah, my controls are all weird. Oh my god, bro, I fumbled it last second, but that flame was just camping me, bro. Whatever, we got to en engage in the boss fight. You see, in this game, they can breathe fire. But they don't do this anywhere else. They always need magic wands for projectile attacks. I never understood that. It was only shown that Ludwig was capable of only breathing fire. But in this game, I'm pretty sure everyone breathes fire. Oh? Let me farm some items. Ooh, a one-up. I'll take it. There we go, easy peasy, first boss down. Yeah, at this point in the game, I need to level up Mario's speed a lot. I need him to go first in the final boss. Oh, good value there. <laughs> All right, first boss down, six more to go. You people got like nothing better to do? Bro, <laughs> really? Uh -huh, now, what? Come on, I even, I even knew that was the bowling ball. What even is the point of this? Like. <laughs> There couldn't have just been a bridge. I mean, it's not like that's like difficult to do or anything. The Koopaling order you fight here is the same order as in Mario World, where it's Iggy, Morton, Lemmy, Ludwig, Roy, Wendy, and Larry. Farm some items. Oh, yo, this guy's got max nuts on him. Oh, come on. I want to farm some more nuts off of him. All right, don't take that out of context. Two out of seven done. Five more to go. Yo, what are these enemies? What? I don't remember this guy. Bro, these guys, why does a bullet have a bullet, bro? This is like if Charizard had a flamethrower, like an actual like Halo 3 flamethrower, and he just, and he just used it on you. <laughs> That's what this looks like, bro. That is one of the funniest but coolest like Mario designs ever. It's just so outrageous. That's why. All right, I do believe Lemmy's minigame is luck-based. You just have to hit the right one. Yeah, isn't this just luck-based? You just gotta keep doing it until you get the right one. Or not? I have no idea. <laughs> Dude, Swing Bros actually does so much damage. <laughs> and you get to farm a bunch of late game items too. Like, this is actually insane. Yeah, it's cool how they breathe fire here. Speaking of fire, I'm actually just curious if this heals. Oh, it doesn't heal them. Yeah, it's cool how they actually breathe fire in this game. They don't do it anywhere else. They always need a magic wand to do any sort of attack. Bro. Dude, the hitbox is a lot more generous than I thought, and wow, he just died real quick. <laughs> yeah, this part you got to farm for a lot of XP as well, because you're fighting a lot of boss fights. Well, that's to be expected. Yeah, just keep using these guys to farm for free syrups. As long as you keep doing the advance properly. I nailed the timing finally, so I can keep doing it for free now. Yeah, we just need Mario speed consistently up there. There we go. Nothing but threes and above. We'll take it. 
<laughs> oh my god, this dude is jacked. Holy shit. He's all upper body, nothing down there, dude. Now, if I recall, this was just like reaction, just jump over him. Oh, I thought he was gonna go from left to right. Oh my god, why I keep missing that? That's not fair, he's off screen. I'm not doing any more damage, so I'll just stop it there. Easy peasy. Yeah, I just realized how skinny this dude's legs are. <laughs> it's such an over-exaggeration. But that's what makes it funny. This dude actually has no legs, bro. The sight of doing one squat is enough to break him in half. Oh my god, it's the nuclear waffles from Mario 3, bro. <laughs> like, what even is that? The first time I ever heard someone say that's a nuclear waffle, like, that's just... That just never left my head. Yeah, it seems this part is a lot more lengthy than the other part. It's not even that much more difficult with a bunch of enemies to fight or... You know, super complex puzzles. Just this part just takes a little bit longer for whatever reason. I love how that block summons Roy, and he's shorter than us for some reason. Roy's supposed to be massive. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of that was. Maybe he's trying to fake you out. Oh, I do remember this part though. If you don't kill Roy within a certain time period, you instantly lose. Maybe it's a good way for you to check for yourself. Like, if you can't even beat Roy in a time limit, then you have no chance against Kagwada. Eight turns is a lot of time, though. He should actually just be dead from this, because I'm doing so much damage. <laughs> One turn! Now, Wendy's is a pretty funny puzzle, because you actually have to separate in order for you to actually succeed here. So, Luigi goes on the right. Mario goes on the left. The reason why you have to do this is because you have to hit her. Then with Luigi, hit her again. Because she disappears very quickly. There's not enough time for you to go from left to right. You have to separate. Oh yeah, Wendy also has a time limit. But that really shouldn't be an issue. Alright, what you got for me? Ooh, max nuts, I'll take it. No. 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 Really? One turn? Wow. My damage output is just that insane, huh? <laughs> What is bro aiming at, dude? This is the last part, though, so... Oh, I remember this. We gotta play tennis! I completely forgot about that. This is the last part. Here we go. So for all the bosses, they give you eight turns. I mean, plenty of time. Also considering the fact that I kill these guys in one to two turns at this point. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this one attack just killed him right here. Well, also getting a max mushroom. Oh my god, bro, my damage output is actually nuts. <laughs> I do so much damage to these guys. All right, here we go. One last fight before the final boss, and it's Fawful himself. I need no long speech before this battle, which now will be mighty. Snack on my red fingerettes. Where'd he get the antenna from? He didn't have that before. Or maybe that's the source of the headgear, now that I think about it. The headgear projectiles? Really? I'm gonna not do the advanced version. Cause it's not damage based, it's how many you do it, I'm pretty sure, so. Oh wait, I remembered incorrectly. I thought I thought fire was how you're supposed to heat it up. No, it's after this attack. I am so bad. Yeah, this was what I was trying to do. I thought fire was supposed to do this, but it's just him attacking. Oh my god, why does it take so long to do that? Oh, well, time to do swing bros. He's so high up that the animations take so long. Yeah, look how long the look how long the distance is. Oh my god, this isn't worth it. Let me just fail here on purpose then. Really? I must do an insane amount of damage in this game. <laughs> that I'm killing these guys in two or one turns, dude. Alright, this is the last bit of speed I can get. If I don't outspeed Cacleta, I am doomed. <laughs> I am so doomed, bro. Last bit of damage for Luigi. You know what? A two we always take here. I must accept the defeating. <laughs> I love it just casually does the Your lives that I spit on are now but a caricature of a cartoon drawn by a kid who is stupid. Where does he come up with this stuff? When I just begets rashness, the comeback has come back upon. In the last moments of the finale of the finale, when relief leads to negligence that begets rashness. It's like the, it's like an infinite loop, bro. And then he just gets bonked. And we never see him again until Bowser's inside story. Alright, this is it then. The no music just says it all. Here's the final battle. Here we go. You've done well to make it here. I should have expected as much from the superstars of the Mushroom Kingdom. Unfortunately for you, those who desire to drop my plans have very short futures. After conquering the Bean Bean Kingdom, I intend to make the Mushroom Kingdom mine as well. My new country has no need for old superstars. 
it would do just fine with only one. The Great Voletta. All right, final boss time. Here we go then. Really, I'm slower. <laughs> if I'm slower than Cacletta, then it might be doomed for me. I mean, if I struggle here, then it's over for me. So just got to make sure that I can do this as smooth as butter. I know she has around 500 lives, so I think I've already done well over 200. Never mind. Really? How did Mario get hit? <laughs> did I really miss time pressing A and B at the same time? Clearly I have. Alright, what you got for me? Oh, one more Max Nut. <laughs> I mean, I really do need that one. I have heard this song so many times, by the way, because... This is one of the few roadblocks in the game I've encountered. It's just this boss. <laughs> this is one of like, the few things in the video game where I just got completely stuck on for a lot of... A lot of days, and wow, I can't believe I did that in two turns. <laughs> Easy game, we beat the game. No. Nope. Never mind. You let your guards down. Even with all your fancy attacks, you can't beat me. Farewell, you two losers. It's time you took a nice relaxing break in my belly. Okay, second phase. Here we go. This is where the real battle begins. I have done this part so many times when I was younger. This boss used to drive me nuts. Am I faster? <laughs> this is why I love Mario Speed. Yeah, no, I ain't taking no chances. No chances. Would I have died? Could I have blocked this? I think I would have been fine. This music is a lot more intense than I remember. All right, well, it's good to know that I would have been fine. <laughs> Now, if I recall correctly, the left arm is weak to thunder. Let me jog my memory real quick. Okay, I'm terrible, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure. Yeah, the reason why this boss was so difficult for me is because she had so many attacks that... And because I had very bad damage output back then, because I didn't understand, I would have to endure all those attacks and then... Oh my god, what's wrong with me today? I'm just failing all this. But yeah, like I was saying, a lot of these attacks were... I had to, like, memorize so many attacks by her that it just- I just got overwhelmed at one point. Does she even give any items? Oh, no. I mean, it makes sense that she won't give you any items. Yeah, like, it took me a while, like, when I was younger to realize that, oh, you're supposed to look at her eyes. A lot of her attacks are supposed to look at her eyeballs. <laughs> like, I was supposed to figure that out as a kid, man. I mean, hey, that's how games were back then. If you struggled at something, well, then too bad. Either you get good or quit. That's your only two choices back then. That's why I hate stuff like the white tanuki suit in Mario 3D World. It's like, bro, that's just insulting. You think I'm this terrible out of Mario game that you gotta give me some bullshit invincibility item to help me get through it. In a Mario game that's not even that difficult. 3D World is on the easier ends of Mario games, in my opinion. The only difficult part of 3D World is like the later half after World 8. Now, if I recall correctly, she's got 1200 life. It's the same as Raditz's power level in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I think that's how I memorized it. You know, I really thought I'd be taking much more damage from these attacks because I haven't really leveled a lot of my HP and defenses, but clearly I'm tanky enough that I can afford to mess up. There we go, the dragon uppercut. At least that one-shots that part. Good thing I'm strong enough to one-shot a lot of the other parts of the body too, because <laughs> it would've taken a long time if I had to like spend two bros attacks per part. Although I do realize the glitch is gone in this version. I remember that ball attack, if Luigi would reflect it with the hammer, it would proc twice. I distinctly remember that. It was a glitch. I feel like I've done around 700 damage. You should be able to tell based on the types of attacks she's doing. If she's doing the attacks where like she freezes time, she sends out Fawful, she should be almost dead then. That's the part that used to kill me when I was a lot younger. It was I didn't know what those attacks were, so I would just get thrown off and die instantly. <laughs> yeah, this part! I've encountered this so much that I now know what to do. I didn't know you're supposed to look at the eyeballs for an attack like this. <laughs> so I would just like blindly jump with each bro and just get hit by everything. Yeah, this is one of those things I've just done so many times that... <laughs> I remember everything, even to this day. Oh my god, a free attack? Does this even work? 
Uh, it doesn't give me anything. <laughs> just have to, just want to know. I've just been spamming this on, on there because this damage output is too good. Why would I not do this move? This move is broken. Okay, good enough. I'll stop there. Yep. Oh, no issues. We've completed one of my favorite games of all time. It can't be impossible. How could I? And to this filthy little pair, how could I lose? And with that, Kakleta is defeated, finally. This game is finally finished. There's no more after this. That was the final boss. And now, we just have to get out of here. Well, there is one more thing to do. We gotta escape the castle. <laughs> is this really necessary? I gotta, like, walk slowly up the barrel. <laughs> well, slowly up the stairs as a barrel. All right, take us out of here. Imagine if he just leaves us there. <laughs> We're just stuck on this castle. Poor Bowser got the shit end here, bro. He actually didn't deserve any of this. He was just the punching bag for the entire game. Yeah, don't worry, Bowser. He gets redeemed by having one of the best Mario games ever made. This is one of the best games I have ever played in my life. <laughs> I'm very happy to have encountered this. It is depressing though that Alpha Dream went bankrupt and all that, and the series came to a halt, but just knowing that this game is on NSO, it's not just the fact that this game you can play on NSO, it's more about the fact that this game has been remembered. Like how I mentioned with Banjo and Kazooie, the reason why Banjo was excited to be on NSO is because he is remembered. That's why. I don't know what's going to happen with this series, maybe nothing else will happen, but I just want to say thank you Alpha Dream for making an amazing series. And thank you guys for watching this series so far on my channel, so take it easy guys and I'll see you next time.